The commands I'm about to teach you are accessible through the ribbon, toolbars, or menus. However, in this class we want to make you an efficient drafter, and efficient drafters use the command line. For that reason, I'm going to go ahead and close the ribbon by typing ribbon close in my command line. Furthermore, to clear things up a little on my screen, I'll close the nav cube and navigation bar. Now I've got a nice blank canvas to do all my drawing. So the first command I'll tell you about is the line command. You're going to use this command often. So I can type out the full word line or I can just type L. And you can see that my command line prompts me to specify a first point. So I can either enter this point in numerically like 0, 0, 0, 0 or I can pick with my mouse button. So I can move my mouse any place I click it'll put a point. And my line just continues to draw until I specify that I'm done. Now you'll notice that in the command line every time you pick a point you're left with two options. Specify the next point or you can close or undo. In this case if I type U for undo it'll undo only the last segment I drew. That way, if you pick a point you didn't mean to, you can just undo that segment. Furthermore, at any point, if I just type C for close, it'll draw one final segment connecting my last point picked and my start point, and it'll exit the command. Next, we'll talk about the circle command. To begin the circle command, type circle, or just C, and look to your command line once again. If I were to click my mouse right now anywhere on my screen, it'll pick the center point for my circle and you can see that in the command line. But I also have some other options for my circle creation. I can do a three-point circle, a two-point circle, or a tangent-tangent radius circle. First let's try out the default behavior. So I'll pick a center point for my circle. Now I'm prompted to specify a radius. Or, if I'd rather specify a diameter, I can type D right now and then enter a diameter. To actually pick my radius, I can use my mouse, move it until I see the radius I want, and then just click. And that defines the circle. Alternatively, I could create a circle, and for my radius I could actually enter a value, such as 3. Be sure to explore some of the other options within the circle command, such as a three-point circle. To get that option, I type 3P. As you can see, 3 and P are both capitalized. Now it prompts me to specify the first point on a circle. So I can pick right here on this line. My second point can be here. And now you can see my circle will start to preview. My third point will be the point that defines the location of the circle. Now we'll talk about the arc command. To begin the arc command, type arc or just A. Unlike a circle, the default behavior of an arc is to choose the start point, then a second point, and finally an end point will define the shape of the arc. If I'd like to draw my arc more like a circle, I can use the center option. So I'll type C for center before I pick my first point. I'll specify the center of my arc using my mouse. Then I'll choose a start point and an end point. Be sure to play around with these three basic draw functions. On pages 28 and 29, you'll notice some exercises. Go ahead and try these exercises before watching the rest of this video. What I'm going to do now is go through these exercises. So the first exercise on page 28 tells us to draw a house and a tree using the line command. This isn't going to be very precise. So I'll just start the line command, draw the basic outline of my house, and I'll use the close option to finish up this rectangle. I'll begin the line command again to draw a door, 
and when I'm done with that door, I can just press enter to finish the line command. Now I'll draw in some windows. and a roof. Now you can imagine the tree will be drawn in almost the exact same manner. Then on the bottom of page 29 you'll see another exercise to create a sun. To do that I'll start with the circle command. I'll choose a center point for my sun and then I'll just use my mouse to choose an appropriate radius. Next I'll start adding some arcs. I'll type A for arc. Choose a start point on the right side of my circle. A point up and to the right from that. And then finally an end point. Then I'll just continue to draw arcs around the circle in this same manner. 